What's going on guys? Quinn69 here. How you guys doing? I just want to quickly go over something before we start the guide here. So, uh, Blizzard sent me a bunch of stuff like Diablo CDs, uh, you know, Diablo Steel Series mouses and stuff like that. Uh, Diablo headsets. It's all Steel Series, you know, it's all like an actual, you know, branded stuff like Blizzard. And uh, they basically just want me to give stuff away to you guys. Like, they just want me to give some free shit away. I got, like, Diablo 3 Collector's Editions and stuff. I'm going to be giving all that stuff away on my stream around, like, just after the Christmas period. So if you want, definitely consider stopping by my Twitch stream. That's twitch.tv slash... Uh, it's inverted. My bad. The camera's inverted so you guys can't... You guys can't read it. Anyway, let's get started. This is going to be a guide for the mastery of the Firebirds set dungeon. Okay, let me just get this through you guys. This is currently the hardest set dungeon that exists in the game. Nothing really comes too close to this. The amount of configuration that you have to go to for this particular clear is ridiculous. Uh, so let's get started. Straight away, you want to head to X2, the Archives and Zoltan Kuli. So it's going to be a little bit confusing. You're going to run backwards, so you're running down this direction here. Once you get here, you're going to head into the Desolate Sands. Then you're going to run down, and I believe it should be right here. Boom. There it is. Okay, good job, boys. Good job. You made it into the said dungeon. Now comes the really, really insanely annoying, wanting to blow your brains out part. Uh, the, do the objectives. Okay, you see here it says kill 355 monsters without taking fatal damage. Oh, that's easy. That's cool. Okay, the next objective here says kill enemies with a meteor that revives you. 0 out of 20, and I just completed it. You'll be like, wow, that looks like a really easy objective. Okay, it's not easy. It's not easy. Uh, we're using a very particular set with a very particular build, and we did a very, uh, you know, particular combination of abilities there. We're going to go over what just happened and how we did that objective because this is going to screw over the most people. Uh, okay, so the way I've configured my gear is I have rolled vitality of almost all of my items. So I have about 200k life. My life is very, very low. I'm not using a single defensive gem. Every single one of my gems is just uh, utility based. So I've got like Go Gook, I've got like movement speed, uh, but nothing that is defensive. But you don't want too much damage because you have too much damage, you're going to run into problems with the other objective. We're going to go over that in a bit. But the point is, I have 200k life, around 2 million toughness. Um, so, you, so you'd be like, well, Quentin, if your health, if, you, if, your, if your toughness is that low, how come you're just sitting there and you're not dying? Okay, I'm using a Talisman of Anaruk. This is the amulet that makes you immune to cold damage. And as you can see, this is an entire snow cave. There's like yetis and crap thrown around snowballs. There's like these little guys here. Every single monster in this cave is cold. So they effectively, uh, they're all cold, except for the elites. So if the elite hits me even one time, if he punches me once, I die. If he, if he, you know, if you get hit by one of his like affixes, you die. You just, you're dead. But as, what that allows you to do, that means you can choose when you die. You're immune to all damage. The only thing that you're going to get killed is when you let an elite walk up to you and melee you. Okay, what this allows you to do here, what this allows you to do, it means you can go back. So I'll go back to the start here. It means you can decide when you kill yourself, which is very unique. That also means you can actually whittle the monsters down to a very low health. You'll see here. I'm going to use um, Black Hole. This is the Lightning Rune of Black Hole. Okay, note Lightning Rune of Black Hole. Because if you use the Fire Rune, it'll leave a dot on them, and the monsters will die, and you won't be able to kill them with your Meteor, because they'll all just burn to death. So you have to use like a Lightning Rune with your Black Hole, or use whatever you hell you want. Use an ability that is not a Fire ability to whittle the health of the monsters down. So I think I cast Black Hole like two or three times here. And then when they're all super low health, I'm like, okay, monsters are low health. Now I'm walking up to the elite, and I'm going to let this elite hit me. So he goes, boom, I kill myself while all the monsters are low health, and boom, phew, objective complete. I, I blew up 20 monsters with my meteor. On top of that, I'm using the boots called Nilfur's Boots. They're a set of purple boots used for Talrush's set, but these boots actually increase the Firebird's Meteor damage. So that means your Meteor does a ton more damage, and it makes it a lot easier to, uh, you know, kill 20 enemies. Now for the next objective. So it says, set 45 enemies on fire within 3 seconds. 3 times. 
So that actually sounds really easy, and you're gonna be like, well, that all I have to do is hit 45 enemies, you know, with a fire spell at the same time, and they're all gonna be burning, right? Wrong. Okay, the way it's worded is kind of misleading. It actually means you have to get 45 enemies simultaneously to the burn phase of Firebirds. So the way Firebirds works is, once you've dealt 3000% weapon damage uh, with, with a fire skill to an enemy, it starts burning until it dies. When it is burning, then it counts towards the counter. So what that means is, you have to actually lower your damage to a point where you can actually deal 3,000% weapon damage to these little critters without, you know, killing them before they start burning. Otherwise, they're not going to count towards the objective. But on top of that, you also have to have high enough damage that you, your meteor, your on-death meteor for the other objective, actually does enough damage to kill anything at all. And you also need high enough damage to complete the rift within the time constraints. So you might have also noticed that I'm using Disintegrate Convergence over, say, something like Blizzard Firestorm, which is a huge area effect, so it'd be easier to set 45 enemies on fire, or like, um, you know, Energy Twister, the Fire Rune with the Pool Braces. Okay, I was trying those before using Disintegrate, but what actually happens is, you hit so many goddamn enemies that um, it actually lags out the game, and when the game is lagging, I assume it's going to be the same when you get to live servers, uh, what happens is everything's alive, then it's dead, and it just doesn't count towards the counter, and then you won't complete the objective. This was a huge issue for me when I was trying to, you know, get the set dungeon done, on top of the fact that, you know, there was all these other things you had to take into account. Uh, but yeah, definitely switching to Disintegrate is going to help you a ton to combat actually not crashing the game. I mean, it's kind of lame that we have to actually, you know, take measures in order to not lag out the game. But it's, it's a fact of life currently. Until, you know, Blizzard get that fixed, you're going to have to deal with that. So, you've got your character which has 200k life. You've got your immunity amulet with cold. You've completed the objectives. Now what you've got to do is kill the enemies within time. Obviously, this part of this phase here is really easy. You just have to just burn everything to death and just don't let an elite get anywhere near you. Because remember, those elites will one-shot you. You do have one cheat death from your Firebirds. That's uh, also another note. Um, you might be like, well, why don't you use um, the Wizard Talent cheat death? Okay, it doesn't work. Uh, it, 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 what happens is that functions before the Firebirds one, so it makes it just harder to get your Firebirds proc off. So you, I don't suggest using the cheat death as it's not going to function. But otherwise, that's how you do it, boys. It's insanely specific. I do not suggest trying this uh, without, you know, this really, really specific setup. Because uh, if you go on without a cold amulet and you just go on with defensive gear, I mean, in, in its current state, the damage is just tuned so high that you will get killed over and over again. The monsters hit so hard. Even I was running a full defense setup and I was just getting one shot. So definitely go with the the setup that i've shown you here obviously i will annotate this video if there is any changes to the maybe they rebalance this dungeon because it's too hard i'll obviously annotate that if there is some changes but otherwise hopefully you enjoyed the guide until next time peace out